foodie friends and welcome back to the last installment of our St. Patrick's Day celebration month. We're going to end the month with the woman who started it all, Myrtle Allen. Not only did she start Ballymo House, but she became an award-winning chef and a world-famous culinary teacher. Sadly, she passed away just this last year. We're going to celebrate her cookbook with a dessert recipe called Irish Apple Cake. And as she states in her cookbook, not only is it the most popular dessert in Ireland, but it's usually sitting on the table in every Irish home. So let's get baking and try this cake out. For this recipe, you will need a half a cup of sugar, plus two to three tablespoons of sugar, two whole cloves, seven tablespoons of cold milk, three quarter teaspoon of double acting baking powder, one stick of cold unsalted butter cut into pieces, two extra large eggs, one of them to be beaten with one tablespoon of cold milk for a glaze, one to two tart cooking apples such as Granny Smith, and two cups of cake flour. Lightly butter or spray a nine inch pie plate and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now you're going to sift your flour and baking powder together into a large bowl. Rub in the butter until it resembles a coarse meal. Now you're going to stir in a half a cup of sugar. Make a well in the center of the mixture and pour into it the unblended egg, beaten, and the milk all at once. Stir until it's a very soft, wet, sticky dough that clings to the side of the bowl. Dip your hands into flour and take about half of the dough and pat it into a prepared pie plate, covering the bottoms and the sides. Now my pie plate is larger than nine inches, so I did not go over the sides and chose just to stay on the inside of the pie plate. Now add your apples and sprinkle with the remaining sugar. To make your glaze, beat one egg with the one tablespoon of milk. Add your two cloves and sprinkle a large dinner plate with flour. I put a little too much so you might want to cut back a hair. Pat out your remaining dough onto the plate until it completely covers it. Take your glaze and brush it along the edges. Now for the hardest part. Take your plate with the dough and invert it on top of the apples. Press the edges on the top and the bottom crust together. Take a knife and cut a single slit on the top. Now take your remaining glaze and brush the entire top of the cake. Place in your oven for about 40 to 50 minutes. And when it's golden brown, take it out and enjoy. So we just pulled this out of the oven. It smells wonderful. You can really smell the cloves. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's going to be kind of a pleasant taste surprise. So, oh, do you want to do the cookbook 
collector's TCT test first? Sure. Okay. I'll do the test. So we're going to do time and cost, then we'll do our taste. Okay. For time, I'm going to give this a four. It took roughly about an hour um, to get this done. Um, about 30 minutes to throw it together, 30 minutes in the oven. So yeah, you're looking at about an hour. Not bad for an apple pie or a cake. So four. Yeah. Um, for cost, I think I'm going to give this, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give it a five Okay. for cost. Has limited ingredients, um, which is, you know, really good. Um, and it only had about maybe $4 worth of ingredients in it. Sounds and good. the only reason why the uh, cost went up a little bit is because I had to go out and purchase cake flour, which isn't something that people normally keep in their kitchens. But other than that, just a couple of apples and you're set. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and taste it because the smell is driving me crazy. I yeah. really want to eat it. Okay. Wow. For it being limited ingredients, no cinnamon, no, you know, it's fantastic. It's excellent. This is fantastic. You can taste a little bit of the cloves, which you don't have to add that according to the recipe, but I went ahead. It's a nice little. It totally. Hit. Go ahead and add it. If Even if you're afraid it's going to overpower, mm -hmm. it's not going to. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect amount. I love this. This is really good. I actually expected it to be more bland just because <gasps> yes. of so few ingredients. I did but too. It's all the flavor you need in a it, pie. It, in exactly. Pie. That's it. It's yeah. all the flavor you need. Yeah. This is this is fantastic. I would say this is probably my favorite like apple pie recipe. Oh, perfect coffee cake. Yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna give this a five. Oh yeah. I, this is this is my favorite apple pie recipe of all time. Even though it's an apple cake. Yeah, yeah, technically <laughs> an apple cake, but I mean, I, we yeah. keep calling it pie, but yeah, it's it's supposed to be apple cake. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a four, four, a four, and a five. All right, so our cookbook collector's TCT test came out to a 4.33. 4.33. Excellent. You, seriously, you guys got to try this one. Excellent. Excellent yes. Dish. And as for the cookbook itself, I'm going to give this a four and a half. You can't go wrong with the woman who literally started Ballamolo House in Ireland and became, well, really just uh, created a force unto itself. And I say we go ahead and end this video because oh, yeah. I want to keep eating this so bad, Definitely. I can't stand it. So. <laughs> We'll see if that cake lasts the rest of the day or not. And this cake may not <laughs> last the rest of the day. I don't think so. But anyway, right. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. And like I said, please try this one. If you don't try any of the other Irish recipes, make it this one. You're going to love it. Really good. Yeah. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for future videos. In the meantime, here are two videos you may enjoy. Thanks for watching.